Jarvis uh, back again at Le Mans, um, this time as a, a full season World Endurance Championship entrant. Does that change your approach to the 24 hours of Le Mans, considering that you've got to think about championship points as well? I don't think it changes the approach because Le Mans so important that you still want to go out there and win it. But at the same time, you've got to keep in the back of your mind that second or third is also a good result because it can have a big effect on the championship at the end of the year. But it's just nice to come here and, and be back here. It's such an incredible place and fantastic, fantastic atmosphere. And how have the preparations been going? I mean, you've done a lot of testing and uh, obviously the weather conditions at the test day weren't ideal. But uh, tell us about how you and your teammates have been preparing for this race. Like you mentioned, the, the test day wasn't ideal, but it was good to get wet and dry running because it gives us some great information for the race. And as we know in Le Mans, it always rains during the race. So it could be that the, the wet running proves very useful, but we've had a great build up. Not a great results in terms of the, the first two races, but we're very happy with the car. We've got a great team around us. So I think we can be very strong for the race. Um, Michelin have got an extremely durable tire. We've seen you quadrupling stints uh, last year. Do you think it might go a bit further this year? It's a good question, and unfortunately I don't think anyone knows the answer at the moment. With the limited running on the test day, nobody was able to really run the tyre for two or three stints. So we'll have to wait and see, because don't forget, I think lap times are going to be much quicker, so we have to see the effect that has on the tyre. And, and also track temperature and ambient tre temperature will have a big effect. But uh, it is a possibility, definitely, that we could be looking at five stints. And with such a lot of experience at Audi, do you, will there be sort of split strategies just to sort of see how things go, or is it every man? So it's up to each engineer there? which direction they take with the strategy, but you can see as the race progresses that you know certain cars go a different route, and that's purely due to the circumstances of the race. Okay, well I hope this year goes extremely well for you, and we wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you very much.